Okay, everybody, it's time for part two. Our wash has been, uh, I said it was going to come back in two days. It's been three days. Just couldn't get to it yesterday. Um, it's definitely finished. You can tell by looking at the sides of the bucket. Uh, the, the yeast has started to settle out in the bottom. This would be the time we're going to check it with our hydrometer. And then after we do that, that would be the time for us to add our clearing agent to get all of the solids out. So let me show you. You can see here the bottom of this bucket. I hope you can. You can see the sediment in there, the, the whiter color. That's the yeast is starting to settle out. Now that in itself pretty well tells you that your wash is finished and that uh, uh, the yeast is no longer working because as long as it's moving in there, it'll stay super cloudy. It's another thing, that's why it's good to use an op opaque bucket, they call it, so you can see through it. You can kind of see when all that starts to settle out. So we're going to take our hydrometer. And if you remember the other day, I said that, let me get you set up here, that this should sink when it's finished. And when it's you start, it'll be high. So let's see what we have here. Should be below one, somewhere around 0 0.990. And it is, hope you can see that. It is right at 0 0.990, just a little above it. It's between one and 990. On your hydrometer, you see these dark, this dark line? That means anything from there up, it's finished. Now the closer you get to 990, that's what they call finish and dry. That means there's no sugar left in it. And that uh, your wash is ready to run. You've made all the alcohol out of it you can. Now, don't ever hesitate to taste it. And it's not sweet at all. It's very, very uh, bitter alcohol tasting. So that right there will be ready to put in your still and uh, uh, start distilling it, start heating it up. But like I said, if I were gonna run this to tomorrow, I'd put my clearing agent in today, let it set overnight, and uh, uh, it'll, all, it'll clear out, it'll look like a clear beer tomorrow if you add your, uh, your it depends on what kind of a, uh, clearing agent you want to use. Uh, we recommend Super Clear. It seems to work real, but really well. Or, or uh, um, Alkaloid. Alkaloid works really well too. Alkaloid's a little cheaper and it works great. We've used it a lot. So both products are good. Um, I, t as far as which one I prefer, really just whichever one I got works fine. I like them both equally as well. So let that be up to you. But that's all I got here today. Um, I just I wanted to let you see how to read your hydrometer. And again, I want to show you when your hydrometer, when you start, your hydrometer is going to be floating somewhere in this range. Normally, most of the time. When it finishes, it'll be up to here. As your wash finishes, your hydrometer sinks. The more sugar you have in it, the higher it'll float. So, hope that makes it a little easier for you to understand. And uh, good luck, man. If y'all need anything, give us a holler. We're at hillbillystills.com here in Barlow, Kentucky. Man, if you're ever traveling through here, we're right on Highway 60. Uh, stop by, stop and visit. We love to have customers stop by. You don't have to buy anything, we'll show you around. Uh, might sit out on the porch and have a Coke, set in a swing. So, appreciate it. Thank you all for your business, and I hope this will help some of you. Thank you.